Hello and welcome back to LCA TV. My name is James Bromberger and joining me on the couch now is Ariane Lenz. How are you? Good, thanks. I've known you for a number of years. Welcome back Indeed. to LCA. Thank you. Um, we squeeze one more more in. We've, we're on the last day of LCA here. Um, we're about to get everything packed up, but I did want to grab you because I think there's some important things that we need to talk about. And one of them is something that you and I don't know, Paul Fenwick has been very uh, passionate about over the years, Paul being yes. a, a well-known pearl packer in the Australian community, um, is blue hackers. Indeed. So, okay, I'll, I'll, it's probably best explained by, uh, by explaining where it comes from. So, um, I think it was the 2008 um, Open Source Developers Conference in Sydney, during the lightning talks at the closing session, I suddenly had an idea. Um, I jumped up on stage, I'm comfortable with that kind of thing, and I, I squeezed in between other people. And um, so I jumped on stage and, and asked, so who else here um, is dealing with or has been dealing with um, depression, anxiety, stress, you know, all those related things. And I stuck my own hand up, which of course is all a good, a good well, prompter. if you're on stage talking about it, then you should, yes. If, if you don't, it really doesn't work, even if you wouldn't, you know, you can't not put the vote in. Um, to my amazement, about half, that's very rough estimate, but about half the, the crowd there, and it's a, it's a conference of about 200 people, so about 100 people stuck their hand up. Um, so that was already very interesting in that way. Um, that's way above the national average, mm -hmm. uh, two or three times at least, I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, it's way above. Um, anyway, I said then, well, please keep your hand up and please look around you. Um, you're not alone. And I walked off. You know, that, that is actually one of those key things with depression. Um, the idea, even though you kind of rationally know that you're not the only person on the planet, it feels like you are. Yes. But particularly in the geek crowd, it's really easy to know um, that there are a lot of others because the, it is higher than the average because of various things that we I'm happy to discuss. Um, so at that point, nothing existed, but um, I was addressed afterwards by lots and lots of people who thanked me. And, and one, one needed to run off to the pharmacy to, to he forgot his prescription <laughs> filled, so he chased it off, and, and that was a reminder. So, okay, that's fine. Um, and yeah, kind of the next day uh, or a couple of days after, Blue Hackers existed. Um, it's, it's actually just a website, mm -hmm. there is no organization. Technically, it is a special interest group of the Open Source Developers Club because it some, for some things like um, we've had a PayPal account, mm -hmm. it needs a legal umbrella to keep us safe. Um, but yeah, it, it, it just does little things and, and activities by me and a, a number of other people. I was going to say, you say us, who are those people who are involved? Okay, so people who were involved very early on are Elspeth Thorne, who's mm -hmm. actually currently based in, in London, not here. So um, Paul Waper has been quite active on the um, on the Blue Hacker site. So the, essentially it runs on WordPress, it's a blog, so people, sure. people can scribble on there. Uh, Paul Fenbeck scribbled something a couple of months ago. Um, so those would be the, the main names and a number of other people have been involved over time, either quietly or by, by writing something. So on. And is it focusing mostly on the Australian open source developer community or is it global or are you finding any demographics coming through? Um, well, my only activities are when I show up at the conference and I've very much since leaving my school a number of years ago tried to not have as my home seat 23B on the airplane. <laughs> so, you know, uh, it, it's Australia and New Zealand. So New Zealand is definitely very aware as well that Blue Hackers exist. Uh, so between OSTC, uh, LCA and, for instance, the System Administrators Conference, CJU, mm -hmm. they've all encountered me and my stickers. Um, and, yeah, so that's the main target, I suppose, but it is technically global. It, it doesn't have borders. People travel and people have taken back stacks of sheets of, of um, you know, stacks of, of stickers back to to give out at other conferences. So stickers and that and sheets, actually material that you've made as opposed to just hosting stuff online. Um, yes. You pay for that or, or there have been donations <laughs> coming in for it? Or? The initial ones, the initial stickers were paid for by me. Yep. Then I requested that people maybe make, make a donation when I handed those out. That was extremely profitable. <laughs> so I just plonked that money back in and so I ordered a thousand which cost me about four hundred dollars at a very short notice. Yeah. They didn't last very long because it, the ink was literally not dry when we handed them out. Apparently it had to set for a day and we, it was on the last day of the, the Hobart Linux Conf. 
So Take this one, please hold it gently. <laughs> I ordered it before flying there, but you know, processing and printing, it took a while. I picked yeah. it up from somewhere in Hobart and that's as good as it got. So we handed out those thousand, but, and they were gone really, really quickly. But um, yeah, so with the proceeds from that, I made a different or uh, did an, another order elsewhere and we got 13,600 stickers printed on sheets of 42. Very significant. Um, so, and that was $350 or something. Yeah. So, easy as. Um, so we're still running on that. Um, the one you have in your tag there is, one of the, one is one of the 13,000. And go. I still have, I don't know, about 500 or 1,000 left. It, not many. Not many. So it's getting there. It's getting there, but that is, that's been a four year, Thing probably so I don't know 2,500 a year <laughs> gone That's very good. yeah um, and not all of them get used very usefully I mean some of them get stickered on the you know your conference tag but that's, that's nice too that's a helping hand at the conference yes. for other people I prefer them to show up on a laptop yeah um, either need a keyboard or on the on the outside if people do want to sticker the laptop some people don't um, and more and more you know at the conference you do see more and more and that is that is kind of my silent aim. So you, you I think that's helpful. It's a WordPress blog. Are you are you looking for more contributors to the blog? Are you looking for more maybe yes. professionals in the industry of, of, of depression to actually contribute? How um, are you going about that? Yes, I wouldn't mind at all. Um, in fact, someone in Seattle, and I do forget her name and I apologize, um, contacted me last year and she was planning on doing a workshop um, at the place in Seattle and had noticed Blue Hackers and was wondering if she could do it under the Blue Hackers name, kind of like branding. Yes. Um, so I looked at what she was doing, who she was and what her background was and I thought, yeah, that's cool. So they did that and um, she also wrote a couple of articles on the Blue Hackers blog reporting on what was going on nice. and, and, and some of that. And she is a professional. So yes, I'd love to see more of that. Um, I'm not always in favor of, you know, meetings and and so on that can be a bit indulgent but just if there's like a like a conference yes that's a good place um, local hacker spaces uh, local Linux user groups um, other user groups if those groups have you know a box with materials that usually contains only cables and, and adapters if there's a couple of blue hacker stickers in there then I think that is very good um, so you know, if, if things you had mentioned in the context, I think that is really, really good. It just lets people know that if they're contemplating whether there is a problem, then there's something they, to go read. There's something to go and read, and it's not meant to be the one-stop shop. Yes. It's meant to be, oh, there's some fellow people who have thought about this and have dealt with similar things. Maybe there's a um, there's a how-to um, for you know just getting a little bit of exercise and and so on, and, and what things might work for you and what things might not, which is essentially personal exploration of me and a number of other people who have contributed to mm. the page. It may not work for others, but it's a couple of ideas. It might get you thinking. And there are links to Beyond Blue, of course, and other resources. And um, after the excellent resources that Elise put up for this conference, um, yeah, I'll, I'll put on more links on the site. So yeah, if people want to write just from personal experience or professionals want to add a little bit, yeah, sure. And, and I'm quite happy to just hand out accounts and have them write. Cool. Um, no auditorial, <laughs> no, no editorial interference required generally. So, cool. yeah. That's